Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, friends and guests. I hope you enjoy today's content and please stick around if you do. Now, let's talk tuna. Tuna water to be more specific, tuna juice. It has many names, but you know what I mean. You pop open a can of tuna and there it is in all of its glory. Sort of like hot dog water. Well, maybe not that disgusting, but you get it. <laughs> and before I press on canned tuna in water, that's what I'm talking about today, not canned in oil or raw. In fact, you should always avoid feeding your cat raw tuna. Your pet could be exposed to salmonella and parasites. This is just an invitation for food poisoning. No raw caught tuna. At any rate, is tuna water safe? Can cats drink it? Should they drink it? And can it become a regular thing? In terms of positive use, cats aren't really big drinkers of anything. Adding tuna juice to existing fresh water could give it the taste your cat is looking for, so this could be an occasional, and I do stress occasional, method just to entice your cat to drink more. But, overall, in terms of tuna water and tuna juice, there's really not much on the plus side of things going on here. Tuna is high in protein, and it does contain taurine, something your cat does need, in addition to proper vitamins. But this is nothing that your cat can't get from wet cat food. And tuna, juice included, can come with some notable risk. One of the biggest takeaways of too much tuna and juice is mercury poisoning and gastrointestinal issues. Too much tuna and tuna juice, tuna remnants, it's not good. You don't want your cat to become addicted to tuna, as this could ruin their taste for wet cat food. The food and nutrients they truly need, the safe side, of feline consumption. Moderation is indeed the key for both the tuna itself and the juice. And I will say also that it's best to avoid tuna juice entirely if your cat has known and existing kidney issues. The salt content and the phosphorus content for that matter is not good for felines with bad kidneys. And before I wrap things up today, there are special forms of tuna broth and tuna juice shredded tuna meal toppers, if you will, that you can purchase that are designed for feline consumption. So, if your cat does have a taste for tuna, rather hardcore in fact, I would encourage you to take a look at some safer options that cater to your cat's desire for tuna water and the tuna itself. And just one more thing, if you'll flatter me a moment, and I know this video isn't too much about tuna, but rather the juice itself, but I will say, since we're here, don't dress up your tuna for a tuna sandwich, for example, and then give some to your cat. Cats don't need mayonnaise, pickles, and all those other ingredients of your choosing, so leave that alone for sure. And once again, some canned tuna in water in moderation and some of the juice. As a one-off occasion, that's just fine, but don't make it a regular thing and never use it straight up as a food or drink replacement. Tuna and tuna juice should be deemed as a treat and not a part of your cat's everyday diet. For your cat's daily dietary needs, always stick with fresh, wet cat food. Cats drink milk and cats eat tuna. Somewhere, I don't know where exactly, along the lines, both of those things became the stereotypes, two things that are often associated with the feline life. It's very important to understand that just because something has an association doesn't mean it's always safe and always smart. To the viewers of Senior Cat Wellness, what are your personal thoughts on this tuna topic? Do you give your cats uh, the tuna water or the tuna juice? What about tiny pieces of canned tuna? And have you ever used some of that cat-friendly tuna broth, the shredded tuna, what is often described as a meal topper? If you have any evaluations concerning those products, please let me know in the comment section. As always, it's all yours. And as always... I do thank you so very much for taking some time out of your very busy day to join me right here at Senior Cat Wellness. 
Did you like what you heard today? Did it have a fishy smell? <laughs> if you did, please feel free to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. And you know how it goes. Until next time, we'll talk to you later.